Okay, so we'll give it another shot. Third time, just can't even complete a game. Still on the Nyamid range here. Um, yeah, that's not great. Let's go ahead and mulligan that. Let's see. Well, we got more mana, but... So I'll do the Woodland Foothills first into Temple Garden, I think. So we sprawl. I'm still getting used to even what this card does. That Utopia Sprawl. And go ahead and yield. So we might want to get... We might go grab a stomping ground. Since we got that plains. Okay, so we could be going up against a mill here. Um, what do we get? Temple Garden or Stomping Ground? Let's go Stomping Ground, because we got our plane source there. And, and it's a regular land if, in case he tries to pull anything. So we're off to a slow start here. But if he's on mill, then that's okay. Sacred Foundry. Let's go ahead and drop the other. Yeah, we'll drop Sacred Foundry. And then we can at least do the tracker on turn three. So I used to play Mill a lot, Lotus Bloom. I don't even know what this is. We're just gonna, yeah. actually in case he does something, we'll, we'll, we won't yield. Was he just, that's, just cycling? What was he doing? Well, I guess I'll find out when Lotus Bloom comes around. Which of one man of the chosen color. So let's go with... Actually, no. Let's go ahead and drop Stomp the Ground. Pay the life. And I guess we'll do... Do red because I think we do have some double red sources. And that'll be it. So, so far, not the most interesting game. So let's go ahead and do another tireless tracker. So we got two. Uh, 
Uh, well, we might need path mana up. Yeah, we need mana for path. So now we got some card draw for this, which is definitely a good thing because we need it right now. And actually, let's pop one of these clues now so we can beef him up one. Even though we're missing the path mana during his turn, I think that that's fine. Alright, so there's a red source. I'll see what the hell that is in just a second. Alright, so this is 4-4 four, four flyer. It's fine. We can get that out next turn. Or it might even behoove us to pop that other clue, swing in for 10, if somehow we can get the... Can we get in lethal next turn? So we pop the clue, that's 10. Take 4 mana. 1, 2... Three. Nah, we... Okay, we can get him down. I don't even. I don't even know what he's doing. This is like one of those second breakfast or whatever sunshine egg. Oh, what the hell! Uh, that's all right. We we're we're coming right back at him with a flyer. Does it have haste? No. So he's gonna he can probably fire spout it and he'll take a little bit of damage off of that. So we might be looking at like a lightning bolt win or something. So he'll have to hit this twice, take six damage. And then nine from this lightning bolt. So that might not be the worst thing in the world. Uh let's drop the stomping ground. Um, yep, that's all we can do. Wish this thing had haste. I think this deck is supposed to have Storm Breath Dragon in the sideboard. Uh, tell me he's not going to make like a million of these. Uh, so he's only got one land. I don't, it's probably all he needs actually. He can't attack into me. I don't think that is worth a lightning bolt. Unless he has some kind of anthem. Um, yeah, I'll just bolt that. I don't know what the hell he's planning on doing, so... We'll bolt it. He's probably... He just wants to get the fire spout out pretty easily. No. Just yield and let him do his artifact stuff.
He probably could have sacrificed that welding jar. Alright, we gotta get a win up in here. Alright, so we're gonna go... That, that's two, three... Oh, jeez, this is more expensive than I thought. That's fine. And so this guy is a dragon, too. So if he's going to try and kill it with Fire Spout, he'll probably end up killing himself in the in the process. So we'll get in for four. This is a grindy game. It really is. If he comes out with something like Worm Coil Engine, that would be a good target for Path to Exile. Um, otherwise, I'm not gonna worry about those pincher things too much because they don't have haste which one is he regenerating yeah just let him do his turn so we can at least get some lifelink here I would hate to play one of those decks. Like, that would just, you know, I guess it's, for some people it works. So we're coming at him with nine next turn. We'll probably do the clue first to see if we can get any more heat. And I'm starting to really regret bolting that pincher there. Did I get that lifelink? Was I? Oh, okay, yeah, because I was down. It would have been down to like 11. So, yeah. So he's going to make a million of those things. And I think the sideboard here does also run Anger of the Gods. I don't think I even have a sideboard because I just like doing the, the one-game matches here. Man, Utopia Sprawl got me all confused with the mana pang. I couldn't even imagine doing all that. Just for a bunch of two twos. So, it looks like we might have to go in for lethal next turn. Oh, crap. You kidding me? Is he going to get this back a million times? Hmm. Without flying, three damage to each creature with one. So I think I should have. So anytime he hits a dragon, is he killing his own things? Yeah.
Oh, this is a great time. A lot of fun. I'm not conceding. I couldn't imagine this person getting enjoyment out of this. For me, it's all about the back and forth, the close wins, the close losses, thinking certain plays through. Just the solitaire like that, I just don't get it. I'm sure once he does all this, then he can do it again and again. Just having people concede to you every time you play doesn't seem like a good time. And the, the sideboard, you know, stony silence, anger of the gods, stuff like that. I needed to get out of the just for fun area. If this is the kind of crap that runs rampant here. Alright, I, I, don't, I don't have time for this.